Imagine if I took your phone off you. Suddenly you don't know where you're meant to be. You don't have access to any of your contacts. You can't call anyone. You can't access your maps, your navigation. You can't function anymore. A cyber attack does that to a country. It takes away the country's ability to function properly. Cyber warfare might sound like something that happens in a sci-fi movie, but actually the reality is it's happening in our everyday lives. In the first few weeks of this year, there have been cyber attacks against schools, hospitals, court systems, councils, transportation, water and other critical national infrastructure. That's why it's so important. That's why you've got to be ready for it. We are at Exercise Defence Cyber Marvel 3 in Tallinn, Estonia, the home of the NATO Cyber Centre of Excellence. The NATO Cyber Range is a very realistic simulation that teams around the world are using to train to learn to combat the kind of threats that we are facing. We really put them through their paces, simulating a series of attacks that escalate from state attacks, take out different bits of government, all the way through to potentially almost all-out war. The red team will literally do anything, and normally on the last day of exercise, they will hammer everything and break everything, and just, you just watch them. We have 17 different nations participating, not just NATO partners, but also many friends and allies in the Indo-Pacific region. It's a first time for us to come to Estonia to join the DCMC. It's a good opportunity for us to have a collaboration with other teams and countries. Quantum computing is going to be a game changer and it is an arms race. You know, whoever has a quantum computer first will have such an advantage. An adversary with such a computer would be able to break conventional encryption techniques with potentially severe consequences. Our exercise in DCM3 is focused on giving people exposure on a real quantum computer to help us secure the future battlefield. Part of my job is to get out into the woods and forests of Estonia and see the commanders and soldiers and how they're preparing to fight in the conventional space. And what's been brilliant about coming to see DCM3, it's reminded me there are a lot of people in uniform who contribute to the fight in a lot of different ways, particularly in the cyber domain, which is an extremely important part of our collective defence. This is the biggest ever exercise organised by the volunteers of the Army Cyber Association and I'm really proud of what this organisation has managed to achieve. There is a very real threat of cyber warfare at a nation state level. And that is why it is so important that we run this exercise to defend our civilian populations. We're stronger as a whole and DCM3 is proving that.